What's up, Willie App? It's your girl Hannah here on this first Wednesday of 2022. Wow, I cannot believe that we are already <laughs> in a whole nother year. I feel like 2020 was like a very slow, redundant year. And I feel like 2021 was like, I'm going to speed things up a little bit. And it was indeed a lot faster of a year. So 2021 flew by. And here we are, the first Wednesday of 2022. I hope y'all had a fantastic um, Christmas. I hope y'all had a fantastic New Year. I hope y'all got to see your family and enjoy getting to um, be with family and friends and eating all the good food. And so before we kind of dive deep into what we're going to do for January, I just want to kind of recap the month of December. If you have not yet listened to the podcast from December, I would encourage you to do so. Uh, myself and Jim Bob were the last two weeks where we kind of discussed a lot about digestive health and em emotional health and how you can support your body um, in all areas of your body during the holidays. And especially as we kind of enter the month of the, uh, January, I think it's important that you listen to those because just because you did something in December doesn't mean you can't do it again in January, if you know what I mean. So when you're supporting your body in December, you should still be supporting your body now, whether that's emotional or physical or whatever it looks like. You need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself now. And that's kind of the theme for January, right? So it's not really a new year, new you. It's more so learning how to take care of yourself and make yourself the best version of yourself yet. So whether that's your energy, whether that's productivity, whatever it looks like, that's really what we're going to talk about this month is energy, productivity, and how you can best become the best, the best version of yourself yet. So for me, that's all mindset. That's my word and that's my goal for 2022 is working on my mindset, allowing my, uh, uh, making sure that what I'm thinking is truth, whether it's spiritual, whether it's at CrossFit, whether it's in my daily life moments, I need to make sure what I'm thinking is truth. And I'm going to make sure that I am controlling my feelings rather than letting my feelings control me. That's been something I really struggle with. And as I turn 30 this April, I really want my 30s to be more stable, more secure, and more confident. I want to be confident who I am in the Lord. I want to be more stable in my emotions. And I want to be more secure and where I am in life. And a lot of that is I have allowed my feelings to dictate my emotions way too often. And so that's what my goal is this year. So first off, you need to ask yourself, what are your goals for 2022? What are you going to work on each and every day to allow yourself to be the best version of yourself you can be? Does that mean you need to read your Bible more? Does that mean you need to spend 10 minutes in the morning just praying and meditating for the day? Does that mean you need to cut out sugar? Does that mean you need to work on taking supplements every day? Does that mean you need to be consistent with an oil? What are some practical things you're going to be working on and practical things you can do every single day? That is what you need to ask yourself as we are now in a new year. And I want to also say this, it is the 5th of January. Just because you may not yet already have a word or ideas or whatever it looks like for 2022 does not mean that you're behind. It's only the 5th of January. You still have 360 more days. Technically, 360, not quite full days, but <laughs> 359 and a half full days for you to achieve your goals. And I want to encourage you to also, if you didn't listen to the most recent podcast with Jim Bob and myself, we talked a lot about our goals and our New Year's resolutions, right? And everyone has different ones. Everyone has things they do. Maybe you're someone that likes to think, I want to get these done within a year. Or maybe you're someone's like, this is my weekly goal or daily goals or hourly goals. Whatever it looks like for you, what are you going to do to make sure you are taking care of yourself to be the best version of yourself yet? So that's really what we're going to be focusing on this month. Um, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be a month of healing, a month of excitement, a month of product uh, uh, productivity. I think that's so important as we enter a new year. So that's just kind of what this podcast episode is really just going to be um, today was me kind of revamping um, or re wrapping up what we talked about in December and kind of sharing with you what our goals are for the month of January. Now, this year is an exciting year to, here at Oliap. A lot in store for you. And also, if you don't know yet, there is a North American convention in Utah in person. So excited for that. We will be there, um, of course, representing Oliap. So I just want to encourage you to think about your goals for this year. Think about how you can best be um, 
working on yourself to make yourself the best version of yourself yet. And just know that we here at Oliap love you, appreciate you, and are just so thankful and excited to embark on a new year with tons of new journeys with you. So before I wrap this episode up, I want to remind you, if you've not yet liked us on Facebook, please go do that. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook. Simply search Oli app, follow us on both. And we have a lot of fun giveaways, fun information, and just a lot of exciting things coming on both of those platforms. So once again, I'm Hannah here at Oli app. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you know that we here at Oli app love you, appreciate you, and want to encourage you to work on yourself um, every day, one moment, one day, one drop at a time. So once again, we love you, appreciate you, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye guys. See ya.